Yep, I think Thunder this year is pretty much gone. Yes, Project Four Five Eight is a success right now. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. And if you haven't guessed by the title, it is because we are here to do a drifts build. That is because there is new cars in the specialty dealership. And this car is here, the 2009 Ferrari 458 Italia. Now, the reason I like this car is because the wide body in Horizon. Now, I'm hoping the wide body is here. If it is in here, then we are definitely going to be doing a drift build. I couldn't get it dialed like I wanted to in Horizon. So, I'm hoping I can get it dialed here in Motorsports. So, we're going to buy this 350000 just to make it a drift car. <laughs> All right, we couldn't even really pick colors. All right, so now we gotta, we're going to see if we can actually get the wide body on here. We can, I see it already. So Project 458 is a go for now. So let us first pick the color that I want to get the car before we go ahead and start making this. I don't want to do decals. I want to do paint. Jeez. Paint body, manufacturer colors. Now we're gonna go with a nice blue on this car. All right, so now we got the color of the car. Now it's time to continue and build this car from the ground up, showing you guys the settings and trying to get this thing dialed and make it a pretty dialed drift car if we can. That's the plan, that's the goal. So let's get into tuning. The first thing we're going to throw on there is, of course, that body kit that I love so much. That wide body on this 458 looks amazing. Ooh, it's even got a nasty diffuser. And it moves the exhaust, I think, or tucks them back. I can't remember, but I don't think it did that in uh, Motorsports. So, of course, we're going to equip that. And then we got to go throw on the Liberty Walk wing to give it the full look. So for tires, I think we're going to keep the stock tires for right now. We're on sports. Yep, we're going to keep stock tires. I think we're going to keep 235s in the front. Yes, 295s in the rear. Oh, that's going to be a grippy car. And then we got to pick some nice wheels for this thing. Um, I'm thinking we're going to stick with some sort of five spokes. We're definitely going to have to paint those. So we're going to go with those for right now. We may change them up. All right. Now into the nitty gritty of tuning this thing. Of course, we're going to go with a clutch. We're going to do that race transmission. So we can adjust our gearing. What's the stock weight at? 3,000. 244 pounds i'm gonna try to keep the weight close to stock because i like stock weight on cars so we're gonna throw that race suspension on because we're gonna be doing a lot of suspension tuning i'm not gonna throw sway bars on right now because uh i found that i kind of like cars better without sway bars so we're gonna drop one in there to get it back to basically factory weight after we installed the cage now as for power what are we sitting at now? We're sitting at 566 already. So we're going to throw an intake on. I like to keep the cars roughly around 600 to start. We're going to throw an exhaust. And we'll probably throw some ignition parts, some injectors, and probably throttle body. Actually, we could probably go a lot more. I don't know if I want to cam it. Nope. We're going to stick away from the cams. Those are some valves in there though. So we did all the performance so far except cams. Puts us at 592. 
that's where I think I would like to be. So that's going to be our install parts on this 458 build. Now we're going to get into tuning the suspension. We're going to do a basic tune on the suspension. And then, of course, we're going to have to fine tune it once we get into the game. We're going to leave our tires there. We're going to leave gearing where it sits. Alignment, we're going to th probably throw to five. We're going to throw one. And to start, we're going to throw 1.2, 0.5, Let's throw this caster all the way up, and roll bars we don't have. So we're going to drop, we're going to soften the car up. That's eh, about, we'll go with that. Like I said, this is just a basic tune, raise the front up one. We'll go up too. So the front's a little higher. And like I said, we will adjust this as we see fit once we get the car going. Braking, we're going to throw in tandem style brakes. I don't think we're going to be tandeming right now. Throw our diff all the way to 100 and decel at 70. And that's going to be our basic tune for right now. So now we're going to head to the track and uh, see uh, what we can come up with. Road to Atlanta. Um, sure. We're just going to go straight with Road Atlanta. We're going to change the settings up though. We're going to do we're going to do drifting eight minutes. Sure. So. Like I said, we're going to modify the settings a little bit once we get into it and once we start getting this car sideways. Hopefully it gets sideways like I want it to and it's not like in Horizon because Horizon could get sideways. I could drift it, but there was no steering angle at all. I don't think this is going to have it either, but I'm I'm being hopeful right now. So, like I said, this is, this is the Project 458. We're going to try and get this to go sideways. So... All right, first go on this basic tune. 597 horsepower, I believe. Oh, she looks gorgeous. She just sounds just as good. Yep. All right, first turn. Not bad, actually. Probably not the best track to be testing this, but okay, so you do have to be pretty gentle on the steering because it will lose itself right away. But it is actually driftable, unlike in Horizon. Ugh, as I say that, I go a little bit too far. So we're going to have to adjust the cam, probably the toe a little bit. But we're gonna throw it down this section here. Ooh, I'm actually liking this car right now. I'm kind of happy with how this is going. I know Formula D enters so much faster, but uh, it, I get a little bit of understeer. So I think we're gonna change some stuff. We're definitely gonna change the gear ratio. This is a a really fast gear ratio. And I got some under, which I don't like. My headset decided it wanted to freak out for a second. So we're going to go back into the pits and we're going to change some settings up. And actually, I think we're going to change the track up because it's not a very good track to be testing this. I feel like my favorite testing ground is Maple Valley just because it's got long sweepers. It's got elevation changes and so on. So we're going to modify something. We're going to change tire pressures a little bit. 29 and 27. Gearing. We're going to add a little bit more to the speed to about 4.6. <coughs> Pardon me. We're going to bump the camber up. 
We're going to bump the toe up to 1.5. We're going to bump this down to probably 6.7. So we're going to leave all this other stuff as it is. We're going to go with this. We are going to change the decel to 75. So we're at Maple Valley now to give this thing a second test with a little bit of the modifications in the wheel settings. Wheel settings. The <laughs> modifications of the settings. Wow. It's been a long day. All right. So settings have been changed. Let's throw this car back on the track. I'm definitely uh, liking this car. We're going to try and get this thing dialed in as best we can. Drifts a lot better in here than it does in Horizon, so. Fourth gear. Kick it. There we go. Ooh. Full lock. I ran out of gear there. Not too bad, though, actually. Ooh. The understeer is kind of gone, which is good, because that's what we wanted. Still a little bit. Not as much though, so we may need to make another fine tweak. But as of right now, this thing is not bad. 300 and some thousand dollars well spent. Now if we could only throw this motor into an 8.6 like Ryan Turk did, and then it would be awesome. But, I would have to say there we go. I'm quite happy with how this car is driving. Stay off the grass. There we go. Not bad. It's pretty smooth, actually. It does have the angle to catch itself, unlike what I was doing with a Horizon, where like you go anything past like this, and it couldn't hold itself. Go. Little clutch kick to save it, and we're good. Holding down 10k, 11,000 large. I know it's not incredibly a lot of points, but this is a 458 that we're taking sideways here at Maple Valley. There we go. Oh, and then we wreck our brand new 458. So, I think we're going to make one or two minor tweaks to this suspension setup. Then really hard. How did I save that? I think we're going to run one more lap through this section and see. So it still has a little bit of understeer, which I think I know, I think we can fix. Ooh. They didn't need any of those cones, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't want to be wall tapping with this car right now, but that's what's happening. There we go. It's those giant 295s in the rear that are keeping this thing planted. I still think we should be getting points for that. I still had at least two tires on. Forza, Forza Physics. So I don't know what you guys think, but I think this 458 is handling pretty well. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think of this little Project 458 drift build. I'm having a lot of fun with this car, actually. Not something you'd see out there drifting. That's why I wanted to do it, and because they had the Liberty Walk body kit on here, that's what made me want to do this car when I saw Forza tweet out about the new special dealers. All right, so we're gonna change the settings here. <laughs> we're gonna head to one more place. We're gonna head to Dubai, give this thing a good run through Dubai. 
So we're going to go into settings, tune. We are going to modify our settings a little bit. Drop the tire pressures a little bit more in the front. I think we're pretty good on all of this. I think... I think we need to soften the front a little bit more. Let's try and get that bite. We're going to drop it all the way. And we're going to change the rebound stiffness in the front. Bump stop stiffness 435. Okay. And I think we're going to be good with that. I bet you if we threw a sway bar on there, it would probably help. But like I said, I've grown to like drifting without sway bars. Now, it's just my personal opinion. A lot of you guys might be saying, you know, that's that's stupid. I should be running sway bars. But I'm, uh, I'm partial to the no sway bar game right now. Uh, I like the car to have a little bit of body roll and like dip and move around but with sway bars i feel like the car's too stiff and it just wants to spin out as quickly on transition so this is kind of helping the transitional you know rotation that, you know preventing me from spinning out so we're gonna get a final run here in dubai in this 458 i think we got it pretty much dialed in i don't know what you guys think i'm gonna throw this car up in the tune so let you guys give it a shot i'll do that before we end this episode off so you guys can try and see what you guys think about it all right dubai 458 oh much better i think that understeer is gone i think those fine adjustments were what we needed yep i think that understeer is pretty much gone yes Project 458 is a success right now. I'm excited. I'm definitely going to be taking this car into some online lobbies. Probably scaring some people like, why is there a 458 in a drift hopper? And then try and throw some doors with some people and really confuse them. There we go. Yes. Just tap. No. I got cocky. I got cocky. What? Luckily, we actually don't have to pay for damages. Otherwise, I'd be very sad because this would probably be a very expensive repair. Look at that. Just brake transition this car. Go right up the mountain. I thought we were going to hit that. Oh. Bad time to have an itchy nose. This turn always gets me. What? A little clutch kick? And we're good. Oh, I think I may have found my new favorite drift car. I could not have expected this to turn out any better than it already has. I thought we were going to have issues building this car. But apparently not. Apparently the Forza Gods are with me right now and saying, Yes, we want you to build the 458 drift car. And here it is. get it yes this thing is so smooth except for when that happens it always happens i get i get a little overexcited they're a little bit too hard and that happens so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below what do you guys think of the 458 drift build you guys like it, you guys hate it, you guys want to see other builds like this where I get in-depth and do a build and really get into the settings and show you guys the settings and, you know, work with the settings on an episode. You know, maybe I can do one of these a week, do a build on a car, let me know what cars maybe you want to see a build on, and uh, maybe I'll do a build on that car for you. Or maybe you guys have a build you want me to try, let me know down in the comment section above your gamer tag and the type of car. This car. Oh, we're pedaling that throttle so we didn't hit that wall. Wow. Oh, brake tap. Oh, we lost our mirror. We're good, though. Just make the other one go away. 
This car is a lot of fun. This I am having a blast with this 458. We're going to throw this in super hard. Oh, <laughs> too early. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Forza Motorsport 7. If you guys like what you see and you want to see more drift builds like this, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think of the 458 drift build project that I just did. Like I said, I will throw this up. I will throw the tune up for you guys to try if you want. And uh, if you do try it, let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys like it. Maybe you think there's something that you would change. But I'm I'm pleasantly happy with this car. This car is going to be getting a livery and definitely going to be taking it online. So until next time, guys, you know you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of which are found in the description box below. I'm just doing donuts and wrecking the car. So until next time, guys, I like thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. And this 458 is a lot of fun. And I'm out. I'm loving, I'm tipsy, cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study in my vision.